Hello everybody, I am Rosalia Pereira. Welcome to the Detalles. Choosing an exterior paint color for your house can be intimidating. Today, I will give you some tips on how to pick the perfect hue. Tip number one, get inspiration. You can drive around neighborhoods to get a feel of what you like. New or model homes will offer a sample of the most current trends in your area. Photograph the homes that are most appealing to you. Pinterest is a great place to find and save inspiration ideas. Tip number two, restrictions. If you live in a neighborhood with a homeowner's association, they might have some restrictions in which colors you can use. It's a good idea to check your color restrictions. Tip number three, do you want warm colors or do you want cool colors? Colors have temperature, so if you are attracted to warm colors, you will like red, yellow, oranges, pink, and apple greens. The same thing happens to cool colors, and you will be attracted probably to lavender, gray, silver, green, and blue, or dark blue. And what about neutrals? The only pure neutrals that we have will be pure or true white, pure or true black or pure or true gray. They don't have any undertones on the paint. An undertone is the color from underneath the paint that affects the overall hue. And um, I wanted to let you know about these uh, undertones because it's isn't really important when you're uh, working with neutrals. So every neutral has warm or cool undertones. I already talked about that. And I have some samples here. Uh, remember that the little samples that you get at the paint store, they are really small. You can order bigger samples, but they don't have those uh, all the time at the store. You have to order them. I went ahead and ordered a bigger sample and I just want you to see the difference between all those neutrals. This is a true white, this one over here. And this is a neutral, a white also, of course, that it has a little uh, undertone of blue. And this one has a little bit of lavender. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Uh, probably the light won't let you see the colors right away, but I just wanted to see the difference. So, and uh, neutrals are really important because you always have to use a neutral to balance all your colors. And the same thing happens here with the warm uh, neutrals. We have the white, the true white. And this one here, you can see that it has a little bit of uh, uh, peach or kind of pink and yellow, even though they are white. If you don't want any pink or yellow in your house and you're gonna use a white, make sure to use a neutral without any undertone at all. Tip number four, do you want a light color, a dark color, or something in between? Like in this case, or let's pick this one better. We have a light color, a medium color, or a dark color. Tip number five, get swatches at the paint store. And don't be afraid to get more than one sample. It's better to have more options. I went ahead and got a dark and a light color and um, uh, depends on which one you wanna use for the trim or for the body. Use your house as a guide. Build a color palette around the elements that won't change, such as roofing materials, brick or stone. This brick is the perfect combination of what we have been talking about. We have a light color, we have a medium color, and we have a dark color. And if you look closely, this brick on the light has a little bit of pinkish or yellow, meaning that it has a warm undertone. And depending on how the light uh, hits it, if you choose a light color for the body of the house, it could look peach or it could look pink or yellow. Tip number six, choose your color or colors. Tip number seven, paint a sample. After choosing your paint colors, paint a sample area on both the north and south side of your house where lighting can differ dramatically. 
If you choose a sample color car with multiple hue options, you can find the body, trim and accent color from the same sample card. If you want to highlight architectural elements and add dimensions to your house, choose a contrasting color. I hope these tips helps you to select the best exterior paint color for your home. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Thank you for watching.